hi guys my name is bless you say welcome back to the channel today so if this is your first time of coming across any of my videos kindly hit on the subscribe button turn on that notification bell and like and share my videos so today's tutorial will be about the making of this beautiful dress that you see on the screen so if this is what you are interested in keep on watching and let's get started Here I have two and a half yards of fabric that I'll be working with and that is because I'll be making a short dress so if you want to make a longer one you can go ahead to fold it to your desired length so I have my fabric in a fold of four as you can see so the next thing I'll go ahead to do right now is just to take my length the length I want the dress to be so I want it to be 37 inches long so I'll go ahead to mark 38 inches so that I'll use the 1 inch extra for folding so after marking that coming to this folded side of my fabric I'll go ahead to divide my shoulder measurement by 2 so my shoulder measurement divided by 2 is 7.5 inches I'll just mark it there then from my shoulder, I'll measure down to 12 inches. This is how wide I want my butterfly to be. So if you want yours to be wider, you can go ahead to add to that. If you want it to not to be that wide, you can go ahead to subtract from that. So I'll go ahead to extend the line to meet this other line. So if I've done that, I'll come to this folded side again then I'll go in by how wide I want my neck area to be so I want it to be three inches wide then coming to the depth for the back I want it to be 1.5 inches deep so I'll just go ahead to mark it then I'll go ahead to connect it with a curve so from here I'll mark down to 10 inches this is for the front neckline I'll mark down to 10 inches then I'll go in by one inch then after that I'll just go ahead to connect it to the wideness of the neck with a slant so guys Having a shoulder slope here is optional. If you want to give yours a shoulder slope, come to this point and then go down by 1.5 inches. Then you connect it to the neck line. Then if you don't want to give yours a shoulder slope, just go ahead to do it the way I'm doing right now. The next step now is to cut the chalk part out. Just watch as I do that. So for the neck, I'll be cutting on the back first. I'll be cutting on the back first. After cutting on the back neck line, I'll go ahead to dip in my hand and bring out the back. So I've gone ahead to separate my front from my back. So I'll just go ahead to check if my one inch is still intact. If not, I'll adjust it. So I'll just go ahead to cut out the neck for the front. After cutting it out, I'll just go ahead to open this to the right side. So 
So this is how it looks when I turn it to the right side. I'll just go ahead to bring my tape now and take the measurement around the neck area. I'll start from this place. I'll start here and take my measurement around the neck area till I get to the other end. So when I was done, I have 30.5 inches here. I just go ahead to cut out a strap of about 4 inches wide and then 34 inches long. I'll cut that out using the scrap fabric. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut out the, the strap. So I'll just go ahead to open up my dress like this. Then bringing my strap, I'll place it here on the neck area. Then I'll go ahead to pin it all around the neck area as you see me doing. So now I'm done with the pinning. The next thing I'll go ahead to do, you notice I have some excess here, so I'll just go ahead to cut it off. So this is how it's going to be if I'm done stitching on it. So I went ahead to cut this out that I'll be using for the, the design I have in the front. And this have a wideness of um, about 10 inches and the length of 11.5 inches. So the next thing I'll go ahead to do is to fold this into a triangle like this as you see me doing. Then if I have done this, from this place I'll go ahead to mark 2 inches inward. Then I'll cut on the two inches I mark. It depends on the type of design you want to give yours, anyways. So this is how I want mine to be. So I'll go ahead to fold in the sides of um, this shape I have here. I'll fold in the side with my iron before placing it on it. Then I'll also go ahead to stitch on the neck area. So guys, I've gone ahead to stitch on the neck area and you can see how it's looking. Then I've also gone ahead to fold in the edges of this shape here. I've gone ahead to iron down the edges. So I'll just locate the midpoint and then place it right this way. Then I'll just have to arrange it like you see me doing. After that, I'll go ahead to pin it down so that it will not move out of place while stitching on it.
So now that I'm done pinning all the old sides, I'll just take it over to my sewing machine to secure the edges. So as you can see I've done that and you can see how it's looking. So guys the next step here is to fold in the sides of this dress. So I'll fold it this way and fold it again. And this is how I'll do for this side, this other side, then the down. So guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead to stitch on the side as I said earlier. Now the final step is to give uh, this dress a shape. In order to do that, I'll just go ahead to fold this into two like this. Remember, I'll be shaping on the right side and not the wrong side. So I'll just go ahead to fold this like this then i'll start taking my or placing my body measurements on it this way so from the shoulder line i'll mark down to 10 inches that is from shoulder to bust measurements which is 10 inches i'll mark it here then on that point i'll place my bust measurements divided by four plus one inch is that's because this is not going to be fitted down. Then next I'll place my tape on the shoulder line also to mark down to my waistline which is 15 inches. So I'll go ahead to divide my waist measurement by 4. Then I'll add 1 inch for ease. Then I'll have to connect it to the bust point here. Then after that, I'll mark down to my hip line, which is 22 inches. Then on the hip line, I'll divide my hip measurements by 4. I have 9 inches plus 1 inch for ease. That is 10 inches. Then I'll just go ahead to mark it and connect it to the waist point. So I'll just take whatever I have here on the hip line and place it below the hip line till I get to just some inches away from the hem line. Then here on the hem I'll go up by about 5 inches so that I'll be able to walk freely. guys from this point I'll be stitching down till I get to this point so this is the five inches I took away I will not be stitching on that after which I'll just go ahead to turn over to the other side then I'll place my body measurement here as well just like I did on the other side So I'll finish marking for this side as well. So I'll just go ahead to open this up. So the place I mark is not that visible because of uh, the much color that this fabric is having. So I'll just go ahead to take this over to the sewing machine to stitch on this place I have here. Now guys, I'm done stitching and then this is what it looks like. So with this guys, I've come to the end of today's tutorial. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. Also like and share my videos. See you in my next one. Bye.